So what you have here is a scientific phenomenon that has divided people on two sides. On one side, you have people who genuinely believe in the existence of this creature. And on the other side, people who say without a doubt that there is no such thing. I'm sorry, you're asking if I believe in John Cusack? Well, there's just simply no evidence that he exists. And there's a lot of folks who will tell you that John Cusack ain't real. Well, I'll tell you what, I ain't one of them. I know he's real. Because I've seen him. It was late. Tuesday night. Wife and I just finished putting the kids to bed. It was all quiet, misty out. Just like to take the garbage out. But I did. It's a rustling in the garbage can like an animal wild trying to scratch its way out. I went on over, opened up the lid. I looked inside. There he was. John Cusack. My experience with John Cusack was of a sexual nature. I was eight martinis in, and I had even had a metformin for my blood sugar. A gentleman at the bar approaches me and says, Hi, I'm John Cusack. Would you like to come to my hotel room? And I say, Yes, Mr. Cusack. I would enjoy that very much. Yeah, he exists. I, I did a movie with his sister. And we did East Ventura Jr. together. I'm, I'm sorry, this is a real documentary? People say, uh, I don't crazy, it's just conspiracy theories. But you know, there's plenty of conspiracy theories that wound up coming true. Dead Baby Project, government surveillance, Frank Nunez. I think we all remember where we were when we found out that Frankie Nunez was real. It is the official opinion of the federal government that there never is, was, nor will there ever be a John Cusack. How do we explain high fidelity? For that information is classified. I'll tell you what, if those people who deny John Cusack exists saw what I saw, they believe he's real just as much as I do. Some theories are uh, easier to dispel than others, of course. Uh, there's, of course, this fantastical notion that there was this film based on a Stephen King novella that he was in, and half the people who saw it in the theater said they saw one ending, while the people who purchased it on DVD said that they got an entirely different ending. It's just not something that happens in reality. And yet, people still believe it. I still think about that night. I wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and I look out my window. And sometimes, I swear, I can still see John Cusack standing outside my window with his boombox in the air, trying to get my attention. One night, I'm going to walk out say, hey Mr. Cusack, would you like to come up to my bed so that you can meet your son? I figure one of these days someone will catch him. I just feel bad for the poor son of bitches gotta bring him in because if what they say about John Cusack is true, Something seems weird. This doesn't seem like a thing.